Hello. We had some fun with Verdun today and trying to find the two stages in which he is good for something. Now, let's try that with another common operator used here, the Pony Circus. Now, obviously IS4 isn't the best place for the Pony Circus, because you want to use her when you have a long stage that you AFK in, so basically Annihilation. Instead of using a flag, you just AFK with her, and for some reason you don't want to use one of the 15 other vanguards that have an auto skill. E2 Pony Circus? No E2 Pony. I'm not limiting myself to just 4 stars for this stream, but I won't pick up too many 5 stars and no 6 stars. Otherwise it's gonna get too steam steamrolling. I need to struggle. Otherwise where is the fun? I thought about taking Executor, but that would probably kill me. Or we can start with Cruz and Jaya. Hello, Turtle. We're gonna try to find the uh, one stage in IS4 where the Pony Circus is good for something. I'm sure it exists. How can there not be a stage for a 90 SP Vanguard skill? Okay, test number one. Can we clear the prison stage without Pinecone? I'll check out our surroundings. Or will we die in the process? My bet is on death. What do you guys think? Since in my experience not taking Pinecone with 4 stars and a Pony Circus is trolling. Well, I say 4 stars, but I have one 4 star. Uh, technically it's 90 SP, yeah. Because it needs to activate twice before you get the unlimited duration effect. Really, you think we're dead? You have no trust in the circus. You underestimate the pony. There will be no leaks. Definitely not Jay and Cruz dealing 95% of the DPS here. It's all the pony. No way to go get the chest efficiently. Actually, there is. Ah, uh, okay. Oops. I should have used my other hand to spam the pause button. Could have left that one dude to break the rocks. Now, well. let's pick Kamiya because she's cheaper than a 4 star. This is a free win because of Jaya. So let's do this one instead. Got it. The reason I say a night is is because it needs to activate twice. I'm kind of exaggerating. <coughs> it's what? Uh, 13 plus 4, so 17 plus 15, 32 plus 42. So it's like a 76 uh, SP skill until you actually get the unlimited duration. Okay, I'm not exaggerating that much. And even longer if you actually need to time the first activation for something. Oh, we have a duck or a bear. Should be a free kill with Amya. Not Pon Cyrus. Pony Circus. Xenogear's character is also acceptable. Probably pull the ship. Hooray! Unlimited duration achieved. At least every stage will be long enough 
to get her unlimited duration skill. This really isn't terrible at T1. That's the same as the defender would have, like spot or uh, gummy, but lower than Quora or an equivalent five star like Bison or Croissant. Super dead duck. This sword ruptured at Oh, maybe not. Nah, we'll be fine. Or not, I guess. No, I'm is bad. I should have picked Indigo. She would have killed it. E to Amia. And let's go up for a free fight. By the way, I finished uh, the boss fight on 1321. I'll upload it sometime tomorrow. I don't know, I've raised some more 4 stars, I think. I mean, Verdant is at least as bad, and his kit makes just as little sense, right? Can Jai kill this thing at T1? Nah, he's gonna die. He, Jai will kill if I place him here. Because he's gonna get interrupted by slugs. I can place him on a slug to charge him. And that way he kills. But I want to try and kill the caster too. Anyway, none of this matters because we'll just block him with Amya. And she's cheating by being E2. So she'll be fine. Uh, a lot of stat is a strong word. She does have stats. I'll acknowledge that much. Oh, that was cheating. He moved the attack after he started it and killed the pony. Caster's cheat, it's unfair. Need to wait until he actually selects the... Until the animation walks on, onto the target. Otherwise he's gonna jump like that. Okay, let's take the real duck killer instead of Amya. Yeah, the goal is to find one stage where the pony circus is useful for something. Except uh, AFK in Annihilation, that doesn't count. Because every Vanguard can do that with this one. Except the bad ones, of course. I definitely think she's bad. The reason she won't feel too bad on most stages is because on most stages you don't even need a vanguard at all. But the whole logic of the design makes no sense. You deploy a vanguard to get DP to deploy other things, right? So having a vanguard with a massive SP cost on their skills that takes a long time to get all of their DP out just makes a negative amount of sense to me. I wonder if I can kill the chest like this. Jai can also just kill it. I'm just trolling. Oh, Amiya just has enough health. I can't do anything interesting then. I guess I can slay all the slugs with Amiya. Yeah, it's not so much of a numbers issue. It's so much that the way the... What the skill is supposed to do makes zero sense. I mean, I have her E2 max, so obviously I don't care whether she's good or not. Nothing wrong with discussing why uh, her design makes no sense, though. Also, the synergy her talent has with her skill is kind of funny. 
She ha um, she waits a few seconds and then gains max health. So she basically has no turn. Yay, the pony is E2. Her true power is now unlocked. She has slightly more health. Yeah, she's only for AFK in Annihilation. And it, these skills don't exist. No Vanguard has this skill. So you can't AFK in an Annihilation with any other Vanguard, obviously. Has to be the pony. Eh, nothing else here. Best I guess. Deployment limit is too good. And we'll get the medic. Uh, yeah, I think she should have enough health to tank the artillery. We'll do the math. In a bit. Okay, so 2200 health. Don't think about how long this will take. Nah, she's gonna come short, right? This is a bit less than 200 health per 1000 health. So she's gonna gain 400 extra health at most. This isn't a 4 star run though, I'm just doing whatever. Obviously not gonna pick 6 stars, because that's cheating. They're actually good. It's unfair to the game. Well, this isn't a 4 star run, so what's wrong with the Pony Circus? She is the pony that brings the circus in town, and her skill too is the circus. Makes perfect sense. No? You need me to. I'll wreck this place with <sighs> sure, you will. Hi. I'll give you the structure stable and sound. Yeah, I'm just screwing around today. Might do a more serious turn in a few days. With four stars. Cause they wanna do some of that again. I don't think I have a blue poison at E2. Or E1 for that matter. I guess I can get her if she comes to me. Oh yeah, the pony can combo with Verdant. Their hair is both green. Good point. Yeah, it goes unlimited duration, but without any extra stats on her own activation. Also, I don't... Also... Typhon's second skill shouldn't be compared to Thorns, since it's honestly kind of dog. Honestly, if you give Typhon's second skill to Totter, I'd consider that a nerf. There's 10 enemies, 3 of these times 3 plus this one, no the Corbeir. The delete button. Oh damn, we have somebody coping for the pony here. Welcome to the pony cope stream. We're coping for the pony too. Hooray! Scout note. Oh, best item in the game. Super strong run, I guess. Okay, I think I want to go into the bosky. Because I usually get a device from there. And then we can do the emergency too. For record, she gives 0.25 dp per second. For re to compare that, Myrtle with S1M3 will give you 0.5 dp per second. Without having to wait 70 seconds for the effect to start. So in terms of dp generation across the stage, either way, you're wasting a deploy limit for an operator. And uh, DP gain is half of what Myrtle will give you. In exchange, you get a tankier body with more defense. 
you can decide for yourself whether that's good what was the effect here lower deployment limit we have the counter so we're fine right pony right Yeah, I thought she was cute and just randomly built her. I'm not even sure when I got her. I think I got 5 of her when I was rolling for wind chimes. We can kill this later. No, the Courbert, and not an emergency. Hooray! Tanking spiders. Okay, synergy guys. We have synergy. We'll charge her second skill faster. Honestly, this will probably just kill everything on its own. I honestly don't like... Uh, it's the least fun Vanguard type anyway, so in that sense she's pretty decent. At least she has something unique. I found both... Um, oops. No, you won't leak one random enemy. Oh, she came with Age Outer. Why do I have her at such a high potential then? The fuck? I don't remember rolling on the banner. If she had more attack, she'd be decent, honestly. And probably more defense. How the fuck does she only have 850 defense? A T2 max. I need to build her model, holy shit. Okay, let the caster leave. That way we can go for the chest. While well, he's wasting his time failing to kill Perfumer. Actually here. Yeah, I don't need to try hard this wall. Indigo would have killed by herself. Oh, that would have been cool, yeah, if she gained uh, attack equal to Bok. That would have been awesome. Hopefully we get the Vanguard that actually does that. That can actually be useful in a lot of stages, because you always have some side trash lane where you have to waste the deployment slot to deal with it. So if you can just leave a Vanguard there that can actually kill it, that would be neat. Obviously Saga can do that. And you can just use other operators. Oh wait, I've never gotten to use Great Road in IS4. Let's get Great Road. This is turning into a 5 star run, basically. Now, Flametail is... Which operator was Flametail? The short red hat? Eh. Hooray, I remember the six stars. That's very rare for me. You should be impressed. Request acknowledge. Request enemy cover demolished. Also, we we're joined here by Bad Cruz Outer. But no mother, she will carry. Believe. My sword is cloaked in sea child's shadow. Amia here. Yeah, it's just that a thousand defense isn't all that much. She also should have a bit less than a thousand, right? She's not gonna get a thousand defense from the model. And we have inflated stat in IS. So this is higher than what her de defense would normally be. Okay, she can survive the cannon in IS at least. Well, I might have some item that does that. But that's besides the point. By the way, does anyone else think that Great Rose's skin looks incredibly stupid? She reminds me of Maleficent with it. The cannon doesn't scale with any buffs. 
It's not an entity that has stats. It's like an ability effect, like the OD boss, for example. Second medic. Let's buff Great Road. Why not? I like Great Road murdering shit. And yeah, we to Jaya. Maybe I could have picked a better Verdant. But I eat to Jaya on habit. Oops. Wait, I need to prepare my equipment first. You can't tell the difference. Have you watched the Disney movie with Maleficent? Like the evil witch that dresses in black? Like Great Roof looks exactly like her to me. Uh, probably need to. A bit more to deal with the rifts. We're trying to find if there's a stage where the pony circus will do something useful. Ah, the disgusting gear noises in Gate Road. Does I've missed them. Pretty high damage for a new one operator. Request stress concentration. Drop the weapon. I feel like I'm asking this for the fifth time on my stream. What the fuck was a primal caster? Like, what was the difference from a normal caster? People keep telling me and I keep forgetting. Pick a good guard, an E0 or Cutter. No, I basically never use Spectre, so why not? Oh, elemental damage casters. Great Road's gonna one shot the boss. Okay, the pony circus is carrying us. This is gonna be really easy. Hail the pony that carries the circus. Oh yeah, wind chime was a guard. I forgot. Let's just say I didn't build wind chimes for her abilities. This is the hardest and most annoying, so let's try to do that one. The squad seems reasonable enough for it. Any reason to use Spectre? Morning, Gryvonor. My equipment is ready. We can start any time. My hammer's not so weak. Eat the first boat. Ponies aren't meant to eat boats. That's Jaya's job. The structure is stable and sound. Nothing to worry about. Mm. Just thinking if there's a safe way to set up on that side. Whatever, we'll deal with it later. Catch the boat. I think Great Throat won't die in one shot. Let's say we're betting on that. Hooray, she didn't die in one shot. Would have absolutely died in two though. Pretty good. And she's still we won. 
I'm not sure if I can afford further. Call for help immediately if you're injured. Because I need Amia on the to deal with the Fadasses. Okay, we'll just eat, a, eat one bomb. It's not gonna kill us. My sword is cloaked in and we'll set up Jaya here. That's fine. If we leak some bomb, Pintigo's gonna die though. So the setup's kind of questionable. Please turn. Yeah, good enough to tank these guys at least. That's something. Wake up, please. Facing her back so she catches anything that turns past her block. And buff something at random. Oh, perfect buff. Warfarin is so skilled. Well, the pony circus is a circus, so she never fights alone. So the pony would beat Grey easily. With her poncillions of damage. Oh yeah, I have a max Scuddy for some reason. Completely forgot it. <laughs> okay. Might as well. Let's call it a handicap. She gets extra damage from this. She's gonna be good. Believe in Frostleaf. Uh, this might actually be a bit annoying. Nah, no, never mind. I have imba items. Screw it. But I think I need to take out the... This. Okay, keep Amia. Two archers, Indigo. I really want to put Frostleaf in, but it's such a stupid pick. <laughs> Just believe in the pony. Don't think about how much health this drone has. Yeah, I think Great Road can out DPS Cruz. Now that you have to out DPS her for long in any case, uh, cut straight to Indigo. So we can actually kill the Fatfox. Because Great Road's gonna struggle a little bit with them. Also, I really like uh, how Perfumer completely counters the downside of the item, it's very convenient. Okay. And the circus leaves. Hooray for the circus. Sp better than other guards. Now we can see Frostleaf's true power. She does a small amount of damage to one enemy every three seconds. Truly, she has no equals. Frostleaf has equals though. Quite a few of them. <laughs> yeah, at 50 defense is, on, is pretty good outside of IS. That's the equivalent to a real defender. Uh, before they get their model. Which is pretty good. You can leave her in a side lane. My only real gripe with her, other than how weird this skill is for a Vanguard, is how low the attack buff is. If it was a bit higher, she'd be awesome. Also, I like how the Circus has zero problems, but Frostleaf gets bodied instantly. Why 
make a building that'll never be destroyed. This is circus uh, flexing on Frostleaf. Now let's see two war for him. And stage deletion. So enemies have less health, enemies have less attack, enemies take extra damage at range, and we have attack and attack speed. All of these things were helping Frostleaf, but she was still Frostleaf. This stage makes more sense, because I get access to more stuff. It was a shady shithole, right? Yeah. Uh, this stage is actually a pain in the ass, so... Let's use a uh, real operator this time. Good night, my brothers and sisters. Wait, I need to prepare my equipment first. Yeah, so far the circus looking good. I'd stop calling her the circus, but that's her official nickname now. Nothing I can do about it. Yeah, probably better to kill it with Jaya. Oops. May have killed the circus in accident. I didn't click and Igu's kill on time. Hooray, the circus leaves. I come from the depths of the ocean. Commence treatment. I wonder if she can buff the boat. That would be stupid, so I assume she can. Ah, she'll be fine. Yeah, those of the circus hasn't taken a single well. Go ahead. Here. Yay, big attack number. Protect the circus at all cost. Wait, didn't you get stunned already? Curse you, the circus died. It was definitely not because we didn't have any medic there. Honestly, yeah. not terrible, but kind of an awkward skill for uh, Vanguard. Mm. Hooray, P2 Great Road. Oh yeah, the thing with Mjolnir was just great. You were, everyone wanted to pick him so badly. <laughs> I'm not trolling the circus, I just believe in her. And to be fair, she's doing decently well. It's a functional enough vanguard. But these stages are sort of easy. Ah, uh, cause she doesn't have the trust for it. I eat with her very recently. Hmm. Be to great road moment. Oh yeah, I should also deploy the other one, so we can heal the pony. 
I think she'll be fine. 500 defense is up. Actually, it's not that much. Uh, Jaya, help there for a bit, please. Oh, the boss is going to melt so quickly later. Request for structure stable and sound. Nothing to worry about. I really want some ranged attack so perfumer heals the pony even faster. Jaya, get stat, please. Okay, now we can watch Great Road delete every enemy. The real reason we're here. Pony who? Wait until a few more of them walk in. Otherwise the skill's not gonna last long enough. Mm. Perfect. I'm not... Yeah, you can borrow operators. Obviously not doing it. When all of the fun is doing it with my horrible operators. Huh? Nothing's happened. I'm allowed to use higher rarity operators, you know. There's no rule against it. Nah, let's take Scavenger and compare notes. We are cheating because Scavenger actually has a model though. We never got this with Verdant once. So unfair. Yeah. Extra health and Great Road. Let's make the pony tank here. Terrible item, by the way. Don't buy it from shops. Mm, nothing else too interesting. We'll use this later to get a bunch of shops. We can afford to go up as well. Because we can summon shops later. Yeah, let's do it. Eat as much as we can. Hooray to hope. Totally worth the one device. I'll get to watch a Vanguard tank this. Okay. Jai is too imba, so let's send him on break. And just compare their basic stats. So, 591, 335, 2, 463, 403. Um, we're missing a b b bunch of trust on her. And Scavenger gains stats from her talent. So, fairly close to attack. This skill is 70% attack. This is 35. So, Scavenger should do a bit more damage on skill. Now, let's use them both at once and just compare roughly how much dp we get from each biggest difference should be the health of course the pony is too great in that area uh, wait until this asshole moves a bit one six four five that's the biggest difference Hurry up. though we're cheating with modu because of her trait and stuff like her talent scavenger's attack goes really high but obviously Hurry she's up. severely lacking on the defense event at 800 defense uh, this one shouldn't really take any damage from any normal enemy only art damage will do anything meaningful I like how long Great Throat skill lasts. Make it really makes it really easy to time it with Warfarin. Cause you can precast Great Road skill. Are we doing this? No turning back. Yeah, it's not that bad. 30 to 40. Hmm? You regenerate one DP every four seconds. Oh, 
For reference, Myrtle is 2 DP per 4 seconds, basically. Oh, the car is cheating. We need Spectre. Feed more SP. Great Rot is super fun in IS. Because it's a ma offensive recovery, so, enemy so attack speed gives her more SP. Really enjoyable combo. By scavenger. Nah, she's a better courier, I'd say. Yeah, not pre pretty decent overall. Never gave us any problems on stages. Weird skill for a vanguard, but works well enough. I have conquered all trials you gave me. Were you watching me? Woman, you walked a car once. <laughs> the fuck? Not sure I have a lot of uh, five star vanguards, so let's go with a moose. Oh, yeah, Granny's skill cycle doesn't exist. Oh yeah, Windchime is an operator. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I just keep forgetting I have Windchimes. Let us summon the shop forth. Oh, we removed the only debuff that was relevant. The luck stat is too high. More power for the pony. Deployment limit buffs the pony. We can deploy more stuff. No, we don't have an attack speed rune. That can be allowed. Yeah, that's what I that's what I mean. I forget she's the guard. I don't forget she's an operator, I forget she's a guard. Because they don't use her as a guard, you know. Sure, why not? And we'll get this. I wanna go one shot the boss, so let's get Shamara. Oh, this is caster attack speed. No, I want the other one. Also give me one device. Okay, you keep asking for wind chimes, so here you go. <laughs> the game doesn't want to eat wind chimes. I'll do it anyway. No, no sniper book. My hopes were dashed. More importantly, we we have the relic for the pony. Okay, so do we buff the pony or do we do memes with uh, our guards? The savings will return tomorrow, do not worry about them. Do we buff the pony or not? What? That's the maximum I can withdraw. Pony, 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 pony. A victory for the pony. Hooray! And let's see two wind chimes. I should have gotten another device. Now I can't go into the bosky. How tragic. Well, let's summon some, emer some emergencies then. 
they'll probably go in a place where I can't go to them. So that's exactly what they did. Okay, we'll take a look at what it is before we go down there. As long as there's a destination, there's a way. Okay, enough of scavenger being here. Jaya for now. Nah, it's not the Super Circus yet. We need the Vanguard book for that. The road is long. Walk slowly. The 2DP Circus speaks for itself, though. If you need me to, the structure is stable and sound. Nothing to worry about. Good enough. Commence treatment. Oh yeah, we need to put a few more deployed somewhere. I like how she loses health, but not the shield. Ah, the chalice is boring. Robbing, uh, going to the shop is more interesting. We'll try. T maybe we can try to rob the shop. Uh, press buttons. Because there's a few, few too many enemies. Oh yeah, Spectre's good at killing chests. So efficient. Please let me know the results. And press the delete button. Next, it swings Fair chimes enough. to try and do a thing. <laughs> the indigo one shots are cute. Ready to Don't keep pushing down the wrong path. Nah, it was alright. You can get thermals from recruits. He is your normal robot. Texas and Yatu were the same operator. No. Oh, we already have one garbage crusher. Let's get another. No point in going down if we're just gonna get a fight here. So I guess we're just going forward. Question, does Amia has two hit air? Can this hit drones or... Hooray, we have a solution to our problems. Um... Should probably add Shomare. We need something that hits drones after all. I would have no idea whether Chen is to does or doesn't hit drones. That's a mystery worst time. Okay, who goes where? Art damage here. Okay, let's test it out. I assume you leave long enough. <laughs> I guess not. Stop this thing to death. We don't need to spawn camp all of the drones. So we can just have our operators. On the tiles where actual enemies come from. You can start, because eventually they're gonna move through 
Great Roads range and explode. No, we've got the runner. Stay still, please. Hmm, pretty nice without warfarin. Request acknowledged. Okay, let's see a real hit. I'll give you the best plant or key. Not a problem. Might need to block the second one with something else. Yep, this is going completely fine. No problems at all. That was perfect. What the fuck's the range in this thing? Whoa, it has leaked so many tiles. And we're still gonna leak a drone. What a tragedy. Yeah, Amiya has big range. Today we learned. Hooray, dodge. Who the fuck has dodge? Nobody. Eh, I don't care. Money for later. Everyone has dodged now. Hooray! So now we engage in my favorite pastime. No, thank you. One random item or restore one life point. We got the wife the life point we lost. Okay. Kind of don't wanna fight this, so go away please. And we can recruit anyone. Itu Shamara, I guess. And let's have Great Road smack the boss. See what we get out of it. Should have bought the other attack speed run as well. That was lucky. Also, I should have used this at some earlier point. Now I'm just stuck with it. Because I'll get it after the fight, so it's useless. Oops. I have no idea what 5 stars are good in IS. Um, when I'm playing like this, it all feels so much easier than normal. I don't have a good grasp on it. Let's say I need more experience. But if I had to guess, Tequila, Scene, Spectre, Warfarin, usual shit, you know? Okay, we probably need this. We How the fuck am I not gonna die on the right side? Yeah, we're gonna try to do buff squads for the boss. It's gonna be a bit hard to set up though. Oh, well, there's enemies there with half. Tyrus too. Bring your sight plans, everyone. Watch out for absent and prone areas. Hmm, let's open a tile with Jaya first. Mm, 
then drop Spectre. Yeah, hurry up, please. Traditional one bear leak. I have zero clue why. Oh yeah, Spectre stun stunned herself. I've I'm just being dumb here. Don't mind me. Anyway, we're almost fully set up. Wait for Do. Hmm, numbers. I'm gonna leak some things in really dumb ways this run. No! Goodbye, pony. Okay, we can just catch this caster on its own. And boss can get deleted. Now, how do I not die on the other side? No, I'm dead. Fuck. <laughs> Too much trying to one-shot the boss. Okay, Pony feels pretty good though. I'm impressed. I wanted to kill the boss too much. I always have to kill it slowly. I should have taken Indigo out. I didn't have a spot for her. I could have brought another melee operator. Would have worked much better. Where's the pony? Okay, um, all of these are E2, pick one at random and I'll scroll around with them for this run. Executor, Platinum. Yep, Executor is winning easily. Toddy Fonts wasn't an option. Hooray, Thermo. I can't do beasts with this. I'll just die. So we need to pick a different starter. Prison is a free win, but horrible afterwards. Hands of Moss will kill me though, so I have to do prison. Well, maybe it won't. We can get extra tiles if we put her really far back. But then Executor can shoot properly. Nah, too annoying. Let's just take the free win. Go, pony, go! S2 is mostly a scam. You only do it when you want to buff shit. For most stuff, S1 is way better. Executor has always been fine. He just got power crit by other 5 stars. A long time ago. But more in purely DP cost and SP costs. His damage has always been fine. The circus does not need to tank. The mountains come and tank for the circus. 
Nah, I like having an AoE medic. We'll get Warfarin in later. Hope is better. I almost clicked money by habit. And medic will carry me through this. And hooray! Executor S2 is better here. We get to use all the funny skills. Yeah, if Executor had a uh, reasonable SP cost, he'd be pretty good. He is not terrible to begin with, just an old operator. Uh, but his damage is absolutely fine. Even today. He got power clipped by how comfortable other operators are to use, not by damage. Let's put it like that. By the way, this is one of the first, uh, one of the few skills in the game. We're going from M2 to M3 is a slight n DPS nerf. If you leave it at M2, the skill actually do more DPS. Shit, I ran out of T. Anyway, the reason it does less DPS at M3 is because he does the same number of attacks during the skill. And when the skill ends, he instantly does a normal attack. Because his M3 makes his skill last longer, but not do a higher number of attacks, it just delays the attack that comes out afterwards. So, it ends up that he literally does a bit less damage if you use uh, M3, M2 on his skill instead of M3. It's really stupid. The pony versus the bear. I'm sure this will be very close. With her extra health talent protecting her from one shot. And perfumer healing off skill. What's the stupidest pick I can do here? Mutunada, obviously. <laughs> Always lose lives for money. Obviously this. And yeah, we'll wait to perfume or two. Who needs hope? Yes, that's a stupid question. Utunada is cute. Oh, we can get the Circus Buff book. This is a terrible book, by the way. Vanguards have really short SP costs. So, a lot of the initial SP is often wasted on them. I think this is one of the worst books. The only one that really benefits from it is probably Saga, because you can insta-cast 3 S2s or something. But the normal SP item gives you 12 SP anyway. So just 3 extra SP for being quite specific feels like complete trash. And that's why the skill is still at M2. Oh, even with that she doesn't have an instant skill. What a tragedy. Hi dude. I've never had a useful King's Relic, not really. I have had runs where it did stuff. But you always need to remember when you get a King's Relic, that could have been an actually useful Relic instead. So 
So when I consider it from that perspective, they always seem bad to me. Oh, she still had the minus one. Unfortunate. Should have used Executor S2, I guess. Really, I had uh, I had the Bok Relic once, when it killed me. I can see it happening, I just don't remember it. I like how he shoots somewhere in the air and then the enemies in the ground die. That's the power of AoE damage. Not really a 5 star run, since Perfumer's there. I'm just doing whatever. Today. It's okay, doctor. City and I just wanted to use the circus, so I'm using the circus. But beautiful flowers will eventually sprout on it. You know, I've never used this operator, so let's get her. Hooray, self-love. Nothing to apply it with. Ain't that life. This should be a reset worthy start with four stars. The combo of two fights on the first and second floor. Abyssal Hunter combos are boring, I'm not getting other. Spectre is banned this run. They're too basic, I don't like them. So Adriana's gonna be on her own. The perfect pick for this map. If I point him backwards, I can get the chest. Eh, there's no good combo for it. I should have placed him elsewhere. Too late to fix it now. Not sure if I can kill the big guy. <laughs> Sorry, a coughing fit. I'll drop Vulcan on him, split box him here and try to shoot him with everything at once. Yeah, Executor can just get the SP from his uh, model itself without even wasting the model effect, because models give stats and they can give ASPD. That would be nice. Okay, little more. We want to make sure we're actually getting Executor's talent is all. Because it needs to be fully in the tile. Wait, how do Oh, I bought something else. I suck. I forgot I can still block the hostages wall. That was a stupid way to leak. I thought they were all revealed, and I wasn't paying attention. Never put Zulet's talent on anything again. Would be ideal. I thought they were revealed. That was stupid. I could have blocked him from the other tile. He's not gonna kill Perfumer or the pony. This should be better. Please give me fights, though. Annoying fights is what we got, though. And only one fight. <coughs> A lot of models had extra talents. I just don't... You just need a very small amount of ASPD to fix uh, Executor's M3. We're probably going to die on this uh, here and now, by the way. So slow. 
Okay, kill that one before. Oh, you can't do cancellations. That sucks. I assume we can kill that one in time. I am probably wrong. At least the pony didn't die. <laughs> the faster deploy thermal. Thank you. Pony Circus is the best. Because I didn't have any devices, so I couldn't see what the stage was. Okay. I am perfectly fine with uh, retreating on the four stages. And yeah, Pony, the Pony's gonna get a thumbs up from me. She didn't do anything wrong, functional in a vanguard. But we are supposed to replace her at some point, or add more DPS. And we couldn't do either. Okay, let's try and make a tankier pony, rather than trying to eat to the pony faster. Okay, we're a bit wimpy right now, so I'm gonna have to play slightly serious. Nah, I need Executor. Because I have no healing. I should have taken Giant Cruise if I wanted to play seriously. Screw it, let's just do Executor. We can watch big numbers together. I don't have the model, not yet. I need more trust. That incredibly unreasonable SP cost. It's so tragic. We should be fine. Just don't pull anything. Let them walk in. And have Executor tank the range attacks. To avoid... Uh, don't have either of those. Beauty there. The operators I have built can be ref basically grouped as every 4 stars, some AFK 6 stars, and completely random 5 stars without any reasoning or logic behind them. So basically a normal person's account other than the 4 stars. I have her in the base I think. She's at 40% trust or something right now. We'll get her model at some point. Need Verdant's model too. More defense against the arts. Perfect. Efficiently deleted. Yeah, I have Dorf rebuild for some reason. Probably because she's the most evil person in Ark Knights by far. Not sure why that's the reason to build her, but it is true. You know, I never played with Beeswax either. Let's get her. When I don't want to play the game, I deploy Scouter and Blaze and then I AFK. We can summon a third rock. We are now unstoppable. Depends on the 5 stars. If you're actually using the good 5 stars, how built 5 stars are stronger than maxed out 4? Because you have stuff like uh, Jamare Warfarin. 
that can neuter everything. I'll give you the stress concentration point. Eh, we should be fine. Because this guy fucks off at the start. Letting this guy charge up was a mistake though. Sorry, pony. Oh, it stuns too. Nice. So close to not being dead. <laughs> I feel like I would have gotten better results from his S1. The higher attack does better with defense. Not that the boxers have high defense in the first place though, but he is E1. Uh, don't have Kazumaru. That was almost a start. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna use a uh, spearhead this time. I forgot. Now we have to wait 50 seconds. What they should have taken was uh, Cruz plus Jaya. That will beat anything. Nah, Pinecon would have died there as well. Especially at E1. Beeswax was the real problem. Because she's an AFK caster. I need to. She only deals damage on skill. So she's very bad for a stage where you need to be fighting 100% of the time. Also, I should have probably put her in Executor's place with his skill 1. So she can DPS the stuff on the back. Yeah, I've played the out with Executor. He is fun. Uh. Guy with gun. Satisfying combo. Okay, let's stop embarrassing the pony. Wait, shit, we have no hope. <laughs> so this is a horrible squad to start with. Okay, now he might be dead. Because I, I can only take spearhead if I have extra hope. Otherwise it's unreasonable. I don't think Mint will pull anything. Okay, if we start the, the stage, we can reset instantly. Because this isn't going to be playable at all. Both of these will kill me. And then we can pick a Rio squad. I'll check out our surroundings. Uh, this looks unplayable. I'll just reset. I'm just starting the stage because it's faster than waiting 50 seconds. I forgot I'm not playing with 4 stars. Hope is actually an issue. Yeah, we're gonna go back to Vanguard Guard. That's playable at least. No, I'm just screwing around. Yay! E2 Pony. This is the run. We've already won, guys. I'm absolutely just screwing around. I've already beaten everything with 4 stars. I'll do some more tryhard runs with them later, because I like tryharding with 4 stars. But now I'm just doing whatever comes to mind. Okay, now we have the perfect squad and a bunch of fights. Any path will give me three fights. We can get four here, but it's not necessary. We'll take this path because it guarantees we can find the emergency. Or he's not a specialist, the hell? Am I missing something? Jai can safely charge on the enemy and then kill the chest. Oh, damn. Thank you, dude. You're making me rich. Out of incorrectly pronouncing Pony Cirrus's name. Glory to the Pony Circus. I'll let her tank the Turducks. 
which actually has more defense than Jaya. It's more efficient anyway. 21 enemies, so 50-50 on the Corbert. You know, we might actually be able to kill a bear. The stat line is reasonable enough. Okay, I wonder how much attack the axe actually has. I'll just pause and see. Because actually calculating stats in IS4 is a pain in the ass. 500, minus 800, 1300 attack. Kind of scary for norm normal stage. Fuck it. It buffs the pony. We can definitely do this. Jaya destroys the stage. Also, we have the great pony buffer. Apparently, I don't have her skills at M3. The fuck? Which one of these is less uh, uh, fucking awful? Okay, so 50% attack, but it's gonna take 50 years to charge. This does literally nothing, so we're taking 50% attack. I think I e toot her because I wanted to deploy her in a range tile. And then I realized her mod doesn't let her deploy in a range tile. Uh, is that why I have swear at too? Yeah, that's why. Don't think we need to heal her too often. Giant needs to be here for the big fuck though. Really good timing, with second skill being up for the second guy. So no point to lose a lot of health for skill. I'm not doing 5 star runs. I know Jaya is stronger than most 5 stars, but he's still a 4 star. Um, will this work? The angle this is coming from is really annoying. Would be less than ideal if it gets blocked by Jaya. Looks closer to Swire to me. Except it's not. Well, kill it faster then. Eh, I wouldn't call Jaya a 5.5 star. More like a 5.9 5 star. Grab a goat from here. 25 is a normal count. No, the Corbeir. But his skills are broken enough that he is definitely in that ballpark. Meowner is a 16.7 star. Don't ask me what Dejan is, nobody knows. We don't have numbers invented for whatever fucking star Dejan is supposed to be. Okay, somebody wanted Torchid, so here you go. Comparing nothing and Jaya is an invalid comparison. I'll my the, the things you use them for them. are too different. It's just meaningless to compare them to. They have completely different skill sets. Literally, the only thing they have in common is how much DP they cost. Wipe them out in one fell swoop. It's 
I'll check for the Orchid skin. I probably have it if it's on the end. Yeah, of course he has better stats. He's a uh, five star after all. That's how it works. Well, she has higher defense than Swire, at least. Barely. By the way, this uh, archetype is more nonsensical than Crusher's. Ranged attack, but super high defense and low attack. The end to block. The fuck? There's zero logic behind the stats. 31 enemies, so no duck. Let's just spawn kill everything. We already have a better Jaya, that's uh, the other Swire. Maybe I don't have it, because sometimes they forget to open the shop and actually buy things. The best part of that 50 SP attack recovery is that the skill itself is also terrible. Like so the effect isn't even worth the wait. Hooray, more vanguards. Mm, I actually don't have f five star vanguards, it would. Ah, backpipe is to Imba. Don't want her. We'll just take Vigna. Okay, let's see if we have Orchid skin. Honestly, have no idea. Better for you, Doctor. Yeah, apparently I do. Here you go. You can now watch that instead. I'm very lazy with changing my skins around. Mm. Okay, so this buffs the pony. Buffs the pony. Vanguards. E2, hooray. Does not buff the pony. We'll get it anyway, of course. Okay, I want to smack stuff with Dusk. I guess I said I won't use 6 stars, so I guess I'm cheating now. Ah well, I'll leave with that. Yeah, I only have like 6 months to get enough um, Orundrum for Usunada. I actually don't have any pots in her on EN by the way. Keep me too long. Yeah, that's what I meant. On CN I don't have any pots in Utunada. Not that they do much to help her. Minus 2 DP from 34 to 32 isn't a particularly notable reduction. She wrecked this random alley without hesitation. Would any of you like to be my paint? With the setting of the sun, the brush draws up the peaks. Who's Wana? I don't think I'm forgetting anyone. I just haven't heard the name before. Just as planned. Oh, is that supposed to be Anna? No. Oh, I see. With the setting of the sun, I thought it was a lowercase L. Oh. 
Kinda forgot to activate her skill. Protect Orchid. I wonder if I can stop the ghost with Vigno. No, just barely missed it. The squad shot. Yeah, I remembered who she was the moment. I figured that was an I and not an L. Why they're spelled exactly the same? In most fonts, makes zero sense to me. Let's get the cats. And yeah, definitely inside. And then we can go like this down. I need a million fights. Reduced movement speed is always nasty. Doesn't really matter in this stage. Actually, it's a it's a buff in this stage. We have no money, so there's no reason to go to the shop. I'll get the other cat too, to keep these three cats company. Wipe them out in one fell swoop. It's cheaper that way. Me gonna say. I'm not really confused on how to say Yana. I just didn't recognize that's an I. Blaming English spelling. It makes no sense. This is just a buff for this stage. She's gonna activate her E2 before anything even reaches her. Ah, might vary. Yana, Yana. Oh, Dusk is too fat. Whoa. Uh, might need some healing. Oh. The lack of DP was unfortunate. Opening the second box shouldn't matter too much. But we can't kill this guy. The absence of a medic was too much, with the combination of not being able to deploy Dusk on time. We won't die, but it's a pity. We'll save her skill for later. Yeah, we're gonna leak all of them. Eh, ah, three leaks. No. Not gonna charge fast enough, I guess. Also, I still don't think it will be enough to heal both of them. You can get uh, Bandi Naku for anything. I don't take it personally. Extremely ban happy server for some reason. I mean, how many people have posted in Ark Knights official and haven't been banned? Can you lift your hand up? Oh, so hooray, devices. Max life, hopes, squad limit. Hope, probably. You must be a serial killer. 
you have practice avoiding detection. Who do we remove to put the cat back in? I guess Joy. I only I'm only in Aku so people can ping me if they want something. That's the only reason I'm even there. Okay, nobody's sharing, so I'll start. Uh why I was unjustly banned from Aku. Uh so I mostly use the strategy chat to talk to the other people there about strategies. And one day between events there was nothing to do, so we had a very serious discussion. Uh, about Beanstalk's massive cock, because she's a hyena, obviously. For some reason that was inappropriate content for strategy. I don't have I never understood why though. What's the problem? And basically, I get a message uh, three days later uh, that this is inappropriate uh, content. Yeah, it's criminal, I tell you. To be fair, it's me, so any server that uh, hasn't banned me is doing something wrong with their moderation. I've, ha I've seen much more demented... Uh, Conversations in the strategy chat. That was relatively normal. Here. Oh, come on. I already have enough work to deal with. Twenty-nine, so should be no the corvair. Oops, we let uh disc die. Time for Vigna to be useful. Also, I realize they have no healing other than Jaya. Not bad. Okay, this is to spite Supa. I do not like soup. Prefer hard foods. I shall protect them from all harm. I, I've never claimed that Beanstalk is the only cock bearing woman. <laughs> she definitely is one though. Yeah, because with is a seahorse. So obviously she has one too. Oh yeah, I can deploy Dusk. I keep forgetting. So cursed. I shall cover you. I was following uh, YouTube's guidelines and what I'm allowed to talk about. Because we can only talk about appropriate topics. So there shouldn't be any problem, right? I mean, they've already made cannon photo operators. A hyena can't not be one. That's just how they work. By the way, can somebody explain the male seahorse thing to me? Like, in a bit more detail? Like, why are they still classified as male if they're the one bearing the fruit? What's the classification? How do we classify male and female there, to begin with? Not beaming right now, just purely a biological curiosity. Or rather, how we classify this stuff. Let's move. I'm with you. 
Yeah, I get that the female puts the egg in the male. So I guess it's a difference in the egg. Like, there are different types of egg. In terms of what they're actually made of. Right, so the males carry the eggs. Like the anglerfish, right? Where they attach to the female, but the eggs go into the male. Right, I get it. Looks like luck's on my side instead of theirs this time. Oh, no hope. Hooray, best room. What do you mean, horny? I'm... This has nothing to do with horniness. I'm purely asking... Because uh, I want to know how it works. Just normal curiosity. Aren't you curious about uh, how an animal works when you hear some weird animal trait? Wipe them out in one fell swoop. Oops. Fucked up the chat window. Yeah, we'll fix it in a bit. Wait, Chita, you don't have any medics. <laughs> I keep forgetting to put Jaya back in. Oh, I was shot. Wait, they do have healing. I forgot they have Nero. I forgot this operator heals. I'm not used to her. So, back to the seahorses. The process is kind of similar to anglerfish, right? Where the male attaches itself to the female and then they carry the eggs inside of their former body. Is there some relation there, or is it just pure coincidence? Don't be afraid. Oh my god! A medic. I was gonna turn out I actually have a medic this whole time and I just never use them. I guess not. Okay, I never take the opsis, so let's just use her for once. I really love this one. Because you can transform combat nodes into a shop. And keep the bonus. Okay, so male seahorses are, are normal then. The angler fish are the real deal. Hmm. We have spinach, so. We'll use cruise for now. Ah, this should be fine. Don't overthink it. Yeah, angler fishes are loyal. Spiders are also re really interesting, but it varies by species a lot with them. They don't all have the same behavior. I assume she kills. Yeah, no problem. Need damage on this tile. I guess this provides that, so we're fine. Uh, no extra tile for Dusk, otherwise we would have just dropped her here and have her nuke everything. Target too difficult. 
In case we need extra attack. Should have taken Ptiu as two, obviously. Uh, Maze a duck, right? I mean, she has a... Oh, she looks like a duck. I don't know if he's actually a duck. Maybe she's just doing duck face. I guess not. Damn. Nero heals, heals what? The Avenger couldn't kill. I say that and Swire dies. Yeah, Looks she wields like a pistol like a duck too. Today. Slows like a duck, stuns like a duck, murders like a duck, chases penguins like a duck. Bibi kisses one. Pretty sure. Mm. No supporter to E2. So has to be a vanguard. Murder dogs. By the way, swans are actually super dangerous. I had a friend who used to be into boat races. Like he, when he was in school, he did it, and he told me that he was attacked by a swan once. Apparently, they can break bones with their wings. You can't make a bosky inside of a bosky now. You can summon scout or lost and found notes just fine though. Okay, just go straight to dusk to deploy other stuff after. Yeah, this is the only non four star run a unit I'm currently using. Definitely. It's not if you summon a bosky inside of a combat node. You need to do the blue rune combo. If you combine the bosky summon rune with a blue rune, you get six ingots on every single one. It's extremely overpowered. Yeah, the greatest tank of all time. H hiding behind Swire. I'd put her on the front, but then Swire can't hit anything, so it's kind of redundant. Four, 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 one. No, the Corber. No, oh, good job, Spear guy. Nice damage. Let us go forth, and there will be one day. Yeah, that's one. That's one way to avoid get eaten. Just be ready to f fight to the death with everything that looks at you funny. The Wolverine strategy. I don't think I have her skills leveled up. Yeah, I don't. It's fine. Want to take the fight first, so I can go to the shop after. Or maybe not. Because I can make my own shop anyway. Yeah, let's go for the... Lost and found then. Oh, we lose a life point every time we do this. Oh well. That's one way to activate the king relic, I guess. Eight 
If you get this note, try to pick the lost and found, because there are horrible encounters that could kill you. Trade the fridge we just got. Hooray, dusk buffs. Now if only I get to eat to her at some point. I actually have her skills leveled up for a change. Do we go to one life? Eh, why not? If we're not gonna have any lives anyway, might as well be one. It looks more dramatic that way. The horn plus the torch is a great combo. Direct memory access for application map. An enemy coordinates authorized. Please stand by. Go for the chest. I guess this is a quote unquote good stage for Squ Swire. She has enemies to charge her constantly. Oh damn. Almost got one shot. I am rather attached to you. Most of the time. Need to eat too. Just as planned. Uh not the lost and found. The encounters on the third floor are very in in uh bosky are very likely to give you some really annoying fights. So if you get that node where you have a lost and found or encounter. I'd recommend taking the Lost and Found, unless you're really confident. Hooray, the Corbear. Bear. Yeah, the Crimson one should be floor 4 and 5, instead of floor 3 and 4. It's a bit silly. Because it's close to Nameless uh, Hero. Other, if it had the stats of floor 5, it'd be the same, if it'd be close to that in difficulty. And you get it on floor 3. One shot. Go, pony, go! This is punishment for not picking Pudenko. The one with diamond guys is easier. The IS2 encounter is the worst by far. Though both encounters just require specific cooperators to cheat on them. And if you don't happen to have them in your squad, you're fucked. And since you don't know which one you're gonna get, We'll summon a different shop later. Let's get the free item. Hooray! Physical damage to buff the pony. If Mjolnir is your only damage, you're gonna have problems on those stages. You're kind of just not gonna be able to skill cycle well for them. Hmm? Yeah, my dusk is, em is M3. Also, we really need a medic here. 
doing this without it is gonna be really really annoying. Kind of dead. Okay, drop Nero here to face tank stuff. I don't think the spider can one shot anything. Except Nero. <laughs> Why was she the one to die? That's so troll. First, the absence of Eton. I should have used Dusk S3, by the way. It would have kept me alive on this stage, because she can perma out the boss. Now we're kind of just dead, because he walks straight through. Curses! I forgot to use Dusk S3. More, uh, more of a screwing around with the pony than a 5-star run. No way to pony, cursed game. That was definitely a uh, more of a player error kind of problem. Well, I don't want to open with Jaya again. That's boring. The gimmick with the boss is that it uh, does damage when you attack it every few times. So you, you either need a ton of healing, something, some damage reduction like Shomare, or to just have slow big hits instead of a lot of attack speed. I have Grey Outer, but he's not uh, built. Ooh, what a horrible floor. The fuck? But ship structure. Cross is gonna pull two, so we need to block the other guy. I guess not. Yeah, you just need to outrange them or have invisible operators. Those are all options. Uh, for the duck door bear fight. I think it's a lot harder than the IS-3 one though. Oops, gonna leak one. Didn't know it was gonna pull diagonally too. The pawn is fine. The second ending is just a bit bullshit. It's really easy to fall asleep on it and die randomly. Which is true for chapter 13 ending boss when I think about it too. I fell asleep three times while fighting him. Let's go straight to Warfarin this time. Mostly for variety's sake. Awful encounters as usual. If this was a 4 star run I would reset. Kind of a dog shop. 
Alright, let's see if we can sneak on the third floor or into a boss key before I reset. That floor was so trashed that uh, I don't want to play the rest of the run. Okay, we can sneak past this, Wait, I guess. Nah, fuck that. We are going straight to the third floor and resetting. Or rather into the boss key and resetting. Call for help immediately if you're injured. This shop was too boring. Concentration point measure. Another benefit is that I need to go to the bathroom. So now I can go AFK, because there's no buttons to press. After we have uh, the pony S2 unlocked. Back in a minute. Oh, oh, the duck throwed me and it's still not over. Speedrun fail. What I'm doing right now is kind of like when you play Slay the Spire. And you know you're going to die to the first floor boss. But you go through three random fights anyway. Just so you don't have to get the generic Slay the Spire bonus. When you don't hit the first boss. Sure, I'll test it for you. What do you win? Wrong. Also, you'll be kind on the streams. How much is the delay anyway? I think it's only like 5 seconds, no? I'm your guard. Yeah, the duck cave case. Shit, this is kind of playable now. Got it. Ah, fuck it. Let's carry on. This is the best mimic possible. It's completely killable. Does Amiya one shot the mimic? Yes or no? There's nothing wrong with Medic Gavio. The fuck? Who are the people that say she's bad anyway? She's fine. Like if you're gonna compare her to Age Outer, that's just kind of dumb. But for how much she costs and she's perfectly fine. I was thinking if I could get the chest, or whether I'll get myself killed trying. Go ahead. First aid here. Take it. 
I think I need extra block here. Hooray for the extra healing. Okay, I think we can kill the chest. Still has the range, right? Yeah. We're gonna try it then. We'll do it in a, a bit later. No, I guess that's fine. Request acknowledge. Do I go for the chest or do I stop the leak? It's better to go for the chest because if I stop the leak. I'll just kind of screw myself. There's also the option of leaking both by failing to kill the chest. But if you leak one and you leak two, it's about the same anyway. Okay, that was definitely not enough. Nah, fine with me. If you leak one, it's the same debuff as leaking three. So it doesn't matter much. And you regenerate the lives anyway. Forget about those fleeing enemies at the moment. Our priority now is to help the injured. E2. And now we can do a very quick recovery. Pony! Definitely the worst E2 there. I needed uh, something that actually does more damage. What was the condition? A large amount of Dominion. That's a free win. Chests everywhere. That should review almost everyone. Ah, uh, Iwanami can't survive there. Not sure if Jaya charges in time to kill most of them. Yeah, he'll be fine. We'll swap out for Amiya after the wave, so she can kill the thing here. One of these will be fine. We just don't want to get a bunch of them. Can Jaya kill this chest? Or does he do too much damage? Does too much damage. We'll use the skill when he starts moving. Should be fine unless we get unlucky with hits. Because she can go for the chest, but she targets low, lowest HP enemy first, so there's no RNG. She'll just kill him. And then the chest. Yeah, you can see the boss key effect when you go into it. It takes you to a different screen really quickly, so you can exit out of the mode and go back in if you want to see it again. There was nothing to damage, she becomes invincible. Exactly like Chen. One million devices. Nah, yeah, I guess she heals. 
more money. Ah, these are all boring stuff. What else do you have? Kind of a boring shop. We to Ami, I guess. And move on. Nah, this is useful. In terms of the game's code, you're better off thinking that she just whacks a hitbox. Don't want any of those. Let's go down. Yeah, Damia should be M15. All of these are also boring, but this isn't terrible. Also, it buffs the pony. Once we get 4 or 5 Amias, they'll change it, so you can use multiple Amias in the same team, like they did with Outers. Cringe change, by the way. I don't like it. Reduce co-op's value? Probably not a bad idea. Okay, let's get a bunch of shit. By which I just mean this thing. And maybe a guard ticket. Oh, I haven't gotten cutter. Oh, stream, so might as well. And into the boss key. Might kill me, but... Nah, that's fine. It just has shops, so it can't kill me. What a tragedy. Sniper attack. Do we take it for literally just Cruz and nobody else? Sure, why not? Defender and supporter. Oh, even more sniper attack. Oh. I only rob good, sh good shops, not whatever this is. I use a macro for ingots. I cheat really hard with them. Uh, basically, there's a macro that can farm Mark Knight stages. I use it on IS. I would use it on normal stages too, but I uh, don't farm normal stages. Yeah, best thing ever. Worth getting banned over. Not that that's gonna happen since I've used it for years now. But if they were banning people over it, I would still use it. It can't go through the entire IS. It can do a few stages. But at, at difficulty zero with something like Wapuma. Just deploying an operator next to the blue box is enough to get you to the shop. I mean, you can technically get banned for any reason that AG wants. That's their prerogative. So, it does say it in the terms of service, of course, like any other company. It doesn't mean they actually ban people. Because who would bother? Hmm, what is setting this up? Want Amia to catch whatever strain playing gets past Cruz, basically. Do I even have spinach this run? Mini Great Road.
they can ban you for breathing. It's their game, they don't need any kind of valid reason to ban you. Um, that doesn't mean they will, but they ha they don't need to provide any reason for why they ban you. They probably won't ban you even if you are actually cheating. You think somebody monitors this crap on EN? They don't even do it on the CN server all that much. Got tier bomb. And let's delete stuff. Hooray! Looks like luck's on my side instead of theirs this time. Let's pick up on Ethan. Because I just like having him. He's really overpowered. I wonder if I can rush really hard on the right side somehow and just try to spawn you. I guess I can. The Pony Circus finally gets to do stuff, by the way. She's a good vanguard for here. Also, I hate this early fucking dog. Worst dog in IS4. She gains extra defense when she blocks the second one. Keeps her safe. Mortal healing should suffice for that lane. Okay, let's see if we can re delete this guy with um, Cutter. Gonna need some help here. I'm close, but not really. Okay then, we are moving on to plan B. Boss is still immune. We'll switch to Jaya later. And Cutter will go back to the side lane. Once she's back. I wonder if that triggers. Okay, it doesn't trigger. Makes sense, obviously. Stay there for a bit, please. Go ahead. One tile back. Oh, she died from Warfarin's bleed. <laughs> I, I waited for the drone to leave her range and then she died from Warfarin's bleed before Warfarin could heal her. That's the dumbest way to die. <laughs> too funny. Okay, okay, uh, I'll give you this boss so you can walk in. That was too hilarious. Or maybe she was just shot by a drone. That's also possible. But for for it sounds much funnier. Yay, to hope. No pony. Bad game. I want a refund. Let's do executor again. Okay, my voice is starting to give out a bit, so this will be the last run for today. I'll try to make it a long one.
Ghost is a free win, we get three fights. <laughs> the bleed. You need me to. Look now. Oh, even better, do expose together with the slugs. It's more cinematic that way. I'll give you the best stress concentration point measure. Thank you for the extremely <laughs> random reminder. <laughs> About uh, people who run the official Arknight Discord. I appreciate it. Well, for one thing, it's an Arknight Discord, and that's kind of rock bottom already. But I'm sure we can find something else to com complain about the Arknight Discord for. Actually, kind of like Amyo. Let's get her again. Everyone likes Thermo's voice. You you're just being a normie. Guaranteed no deck de or bear. My hammer's not so weak. I'll give you the best plan possible. Request a stress concentration point measure. I like how the early stages have only two archers, so they don't actually have enough range damage to kill executor. As it rightfully should have, being an arts knight discord and all. This is one of those rare stages where it takes so long to finish the tech executor as to probably charge back up. It's the better executor. The other one has RNG and is therefore a worse operator. No, seriously, he's really annoying to use. Oh, so close to charging back up. If only it had uh, SP cost made to be used by humans. I mostly stuck to strategy, so most of my memories other than funny stuff are people complaining that uh, we were posting screenshots or something when we were discussing runs. It was pretty. So eventually, a lot of the stuff moved. A lot of the people in strategy moved to different servers. Uh, will we play Enfield? Probably not. Actually, definitely not. I'm really not into open world games much. I've played five open world games. Let's see if I can list them all. So I've played Genshin, uh, Elden Ring, Red Dead Redemption, and Witcher 3. That's four. The fifth one's Doom Eternal. And I consider all of those kind of okay overall. And they're the best open world games apparently. So I have very little motivation to play other ones. I've played stuff like Valheim, Valheim and Minecraft, but you don't count them. 
procedurally generated stuff are a different category for me. Midnight sounds more like a stadium than mock. I'll give you the enemy cover Can we both hit the slugs and then the other guys? Yeah, yeah, why not? New caster. Doctor, thank you for all supporting me. Our battles will only get harder from here, but we can't give up. The vampire guy in chapter 13 talks. News to me. I guess that's for people who actually read the story. He's the one who speaks. The one in... Um, that's... Fuck, I forgot the event. SV. In SV event is a scammer. Oh, he's a real vampire here, going on about on our guest. Eat to pony! <laughs> How durable is an orca compared to a bus? If that question comes up, uh, you've made a mistake at some point. I mean, I can chew a train too. I'm not gonna finish doing it, but I can put my teeth on it. That's not impressive. Orca's got nothing. Can T2 thermal. Game is bad. I guess I can get this. And Warfarin. Yeah, under tight is called SV. For reasons that uh, make perfect sense, I'm sure. Hooray! Dead dog. Wait! I need to prepare my equipment first. Can Amiya saw the dog? She should do her full damage even after it goes invisible, right? No, we'll do the better setup just in case. Commence treatment. Enemy cover demolished. My sword is cloaked in Sea Chow's shadow. After the Ramia turns invincible, does the dog become medical equipment? Invincible. If we use the skill. Yeah, it works like this. The moment it sh the dog is tagged, it can't escape. It doesn't matter that it's invisible afterwards. That's what I was wondering about. Because in invisibility and invincibility in Arctites are basically the same thing. 99% of the time. Because being invincible just means not having a hitbox that enemies can scan. And in the, it works more or less the same way for enemies. It's really goofy. But there's also two types in, of invisibility in Arc Knights for operators to make it as confusing as possible. Truly the essence of spaghetti. The other one is better. They take the shittier one. Oops. Ah, the guaranteed leak stage. No, maybe not. My equipment is ready. We can start any time. My 
sword is cloaked in Sea Chow's shadow. If you need me to, I'll wreck this place without hesitation. I'll give you enemy cover demolished. Go straight to executor, chest is safe. And might need to retreat them, yeah. Now we're fine. I, won't permit it. I should have used executor as well. This is a mistake. It should just barely be fine. Especially if this stupid ghost dies at some point. That was just rude. And we'll see if we can catch both ghosts with one Amiya. We can also catch none of them. That also works. Yeah, okay, three leaks. Or probably five, let's be honest. Hmm, is there enough enemies to kill me? This ghost will leak too. She'll kill one. Um. Hooray! We're alive! Too tanky to die. This is a situation where her skill in particular is extremely useful. Now, it's a... Long follow-up of fuck-ups and failures, but because it's infinite duration, she's never gonna randomly die to these guys. So that's useful. I mean, it doesn't target the closest to the blue box, as far as I know. Um, where's her skill? Immediately searches for the lowest health target in front of this unit. Attacks 10 times. I'm not sure if after she kills said lowest health targets, if she looks for other low health, or if she goes for the blue box. Mm. I can test it later. It's easy to determine. An executor first. Yeah, it's kind of silly to smack people with a giant hammer and not have a chance to stun. Then again, if somebody smacks you with a giant hammer, you're not going to be stunned exactly. I don't have the leisure for enemy intel at the moment. Taking care of our operators has already. I mean, this isn't gonna give you a concussion. There won't be enough of your brain left to have a concussion. I'll give you the stress concentration point. Measure. Look at you. I have less 5 stars built than 6 stars, I think. No, that might be wrong now. I have about 25 stars or so. And I think I have around 15, 6 stars or something. Those numbers are entirely made up, so don't trust me about them. I'm too lazy to go and farm guard chips. I need to farm trust on uh, Verdant instead. I'm doing the important things. Do people actually use Corderas too? It's sort of just a uh, stun skill. 
for very niche purposes. Since the attack buff is so ass. I'm actually kind of worried out that he doesn't have something like plus 130% attack on his S2. Honestly, it wouldn't be that much for a 6 star. Yeah, obviously use it when you want to stun stuff, but I'm worried out that people use it generally. Yeah, let's get a Martu. No, we'll get another key. Two is fine. Yeah, it's always. Let's just get, go and get more shit. There's a mission. I wanna go. Yeah, but being infinite and instant has nothing to do with being good. What's a horrible skill? Verdant. This one is infinite and instant too. That doesn't mean it does something useful. No, that was a misclick. I wanted to deploy Warfare in here so I can buff, buff Okumo. Not that it will matter. If you had an infinite instant bread, you would be dead because it would collapse into a black hole and kill you. So you wouldn't have a day at all. I don't think uh, Crushers will get a particularly interesting model, no. It will definitely not save Quartz and that's the only Crusher I particularly care, care about in terms of gameplay. Almost. Six stars don't need focused skills or kits. They can just have an S3 to the 40 million damage and then they're good. Having an actually useful kit that makes sense is a bonus for them. I have too many undeveled five stars for the five star book to do anything useful. It's a curse more than anything. Uh, let's take this one. Sure, why not? Is it 15,000? Because it's 70 seconds, right? So that's 1,500 over a second. Oh, okay, it's a bit less than 15,000. I'm gonna skip on the option to pay more money. Losing a hundred health and hoarder is just pure flavor. That's why it's there. Do we rob the shop for this? <laughs> That's definitely not worth. Hooray, duck fight. Pretty easy fight.
Yeah, Ethan's one of those stupid the strong operator. He was already kind of strong without model, but the model just pushes him way too far. Kind of getting melted. Ah well. Not kind of doubt we can kill the duck. Oh, maybe we'll be fine. It's not going in yet. So we'll get a clean hit for the most part. Not enough damage. Should have waited a bit for Sora, I guess. We do have a skill upgrade system. We upgrade skills. No? What do you mean by a skill upgrade system? Other than that? Kind of confused. Yeah, the duck doesn't actually have any res uh, or death. Or at least not very high ones, he just has a bunch of health. So, nuke skills aren't the best option. Kind of doubt. Why yes to Frio? Hmm, we'll probably die here. I just realized they don't have enough operators to cover the center. Executor kind of covers the bottom at least. We have S1, right? Yeah, I got nothing for the other ones. We're, we're just gonna die to them. We're counting on you again today, little apple. Hmm? My hammer's not so weak. The tragedy of retreating, Marto. Okay, we survived. That was, uh, there was probably a better setup for this. Puma should have been a tile open on the left. Hi, Super. Doctor, good job. Let me handle the cleanup. I like that you remember exactly when I picked Nero. Just for Super. Thank you for that. Ratatos. If that isn't a rat operator, I'm going to uninstall Arc Knights. Can we do Kraving without dying? I guess we'll find out. Okay, I'm on un uninstalling. It's not a rat. I'm disappointed. Close enough for you, but not for me. commencing let's go my hammer's not so weak this is how we're going to get the chest absolutely the best use of Sora ever Request stress concentration point measure. Mm. Mm -hmm. we're counting on you 
again today, little apple. Call for help immediately if you're injured. Atashi no de... Now the real question is how to not leak uh, random enemies here. So one goes down to Amiya. We can walk one with Tupuma. And we should probably retreat this one. Hooray, no leaks. I'll just pay attention to which of these guard assholes goes in. Go ahead. Stay there, please. Huh? The casters don't matter. They're gonna die on their own. We just need to take care of the melee enemies because they run forward. Like the assholes that they are. Okay, we're fine. Throwing bodies solves, solves everything. Great success. Yeah, that's why I want something that buffs clicks attack. Which reminds me I should probably pick click. Oh wait, I already have the other click. Never mind. No point. Did we have it on this run? Apparently not. Let's fix that. We will probably die here. But we can try to do, do something funny to the boss. So I guess that's nice. Okay, let's find out if Executor can one-shot the boss. Or not one-shot, but kill him really quickly. While well, I'm setting up, uh, you can bet, will the boss get one shot or not? Nah, I can't replicate it. We're gonna use Executor this time. Okay, so Executor has to be deployed first, or I guess um, Perfumer before we die there. Kind of a trolley setup. We're sort of lacking in deployment slots too. Don't mind the leaks. Kind of need to bump here so we can at least see the skill though. Would be pretty stupid if I die before I get to see it. Okay, good job Thermo. Is the boss here? Ah, should be close enough. Oh, she survived the hit. Good job to her. Nah, no attack speed. Not even close. Executor's bad for this. Honestly, I think Executor's Q1 is better in general. It has a much more reasonable SP cycle. You can actually use it to kill stuff. Okay. We're super dead now. But I proved my point, at least. 
Да пълни сърка си за дат хора, Бол. Ши за ризи на Болвангард. Джиджи. And I'm off to fix my voice. Before I get sore again. Have a nice evening.